this is my boosted board motor KV test. Um, I've got a GeForce motor annual analyzer here um, that I can set the motor poles um, and then test the KV. Um, I've connected the wires to the three phase terminals on the boosted board speed controller um, that is then connected to this motor. Hopefully this works and I don't blow up my boosted board. First I'm going to set the motor poles because I know that they're 14 pole. And then I'm going to test the KV. Now I increase this to have the motor spin. And it didn't work. I readjusted the phase connections um, and now it's working. So if I Click the KV, press start, now increase the servo tester, and I keep spinning it, and we get up to about 190 KV. Which is a pretty good KV rating for such a small motor. Um, the motors are a 50, uh, 55 uh, outrunner uh, with a 25 by uh, 41 stator inside the uh, stator. Sorry, um, to to fit that much copper in there, uh, they've actually put a lot of engineering into the motors. Uh, this is drawing 0 0.8 amps at uh, no load. That would reduce if it wasn't connected to the belt. The boosted motor pulley is 14 tooth, the hub is 50 which makes 19 miles per hour. If we increase the motor KV to 215 we get 22 miles per hour which is the speed of the dual plus. The boosted board has a 3.5 gear ratio, in comparison the inertion setup would have a 2.5 uh, but with a 63mm motor the boosted has a 50 um, so they're compensating the amount um, of torque that they can produce with these motors with the higher um, gear ratio. Um, and also these motor KVs are a, a lower um, KV so um, at 190 KV that would be the same as the R-Spec motor from Inertion um, but the 60mm um, motor will have a natural lower KV because of the uh, larger stator and the larger motor can um, the, these ones will have usually come at a 50mm motor would be between 270 to maybe 330 kV um, which means that they've had to put more turns into the motor more turns means more torque but also increases resistance because they have less able to fit less uh, copper strands um, if I zoom in to the motor you can see that they have put quite a lot of copper inside of these motors um, and it's really hard to focus in there but um, yeah they've they've really fitted in which i think that they've spent a lot of uh of their development money doing um usually using a machine um, they probably go through scorpion or some um, high quality motor manufacturer like that to be able to do this um, and by doing that it means that the resistance is lower the motors heat up less but they're not actually putting many amps through um, if we look here um, they've said it's 40, 45 volt um, by 30 amps per channel. So channel one, channel two, uh, that means that each motor will be doing 30 amps. Now whether that's a peak uh, or maybe 10 seconds or 30 seconds or um, a constant, um, I'm not sure. Uh, they don't, uh, they've got a heat sink underneath, but I would say that these are the MOSFETs here and they have 12 of them so the heat sink is actually underneath and they've probably got the pace there but um, the heat isn't directly onto the 
the MOSFETs. My personal opinion about the boosted board is that for the Dual Plus, um, there's no software limiting, it's a hardware limitation. Um, with the 75mm wheels, the 3.5 gear ratio, and say 190 kV motor, it doesn't even bring it up to the speed of 22 miles per hour like is listed. Um, so I would say the motor um, kV that I've read isn't actually right, and it's more like 220 kV um, to be able to reach those speeds, and they're not limiting it at all because in my calculations that I've shown uh, in the screenshot, uh, the pack, I've done it at 43.2, but this pack will start to decrease pretty much after you ride it up one hill, uh, which means your top speed is limited, and I've ridden this, and the top speed really doesn't get limited um, until it's probably on about 30% charge, uh, which means that I really say it's about a 22, uh, 220 kV motor, um, with that, which means that it's going to um, have a top speed of about 22 miles per hour um, for the dual, um, not the dual blast, but the dual. Uh, I would say that there is some sort of software limiting RPM uh, for modifications of the boosted board. The only thing that I would really recommend doing is the wheel size. You can increase your top speed by three to four miles per hour. If you did replace the motor with like a 270 kV. You're going to be increasing it about the same, but there could be RPM limiting still, um, which would mean you're not actually going to increase your speed at all, and you're only going to affect the performance of the board. Uh, you could change the gear ratio um, and reduce it, but I still don't recommend doing this, um, as the performance of the board is really um, quite good going up hills and things like that. Me at a nice uh, five kilos can go. 20 grade hill pretty easily um, in, dual, in the pro mode um, so I really do enjoy the boosted board um, without having these huge motors on it and things like that which I think can be overkill a little bit on setups like the DIY ones that people are doing from DIY electric skateboards or um, inertion boards those big motors really aren't at their peak and they're just running really really cool but my motors don't heat up on my boosted board anyway so um, I really don't think there's any point having, any, having anything bigger. Um, the one thing that I would like to do at some point is put my hub motors onto this, uh, connect to the speed controller that they've got here and see how it goes, uh, whether the speed will be increased, whether it won't. Um, I've got sensors in my hub motors so I can connect them. It might be a completely flop and uh, won't even work. but. Uh, I'd love to give it a go. One last theory that I do have is if the motors actually are 190 kV like I've tested, um, the battery pack here, um, which is 43.2 volts, um, is actually getting regulated at some point, I would say through the speed controller, um, to around 45 volts, um, which then would allow the booster board to go a little bit faster. Um, obviously, basically powers done through watts so um, if they increase the amperages they could actually regulate the voltage up it would only be between 5 to 10 um, volts that they would be regulating but it would mean that they could have a constant speed through the boosted board um, without worrying about voltage sagging and things like that it would always be at the voltage that they wanted um, as well as the fact is they could actually push the limits of the boosted board the speed a little bit um, while still having a lower KV which produces more um, torque and a um, higher gear ratio which then again produces more torque.